I actually, this is my first time ever going to Chicago, like downtown. I've never had a car that I could drive to Chicago. And we're in a parking garage, which I also have never been in before. And then somehow Bryce fit in here with the dirt bikes. Surprised they're both still there. Yeah, I'm surprised no one saw them, because I would have. too boring to drive normal slow vehicles that's why you need to get entered to win murder ram my thousand horsepower second gen shorty with a sport front end weld wheels middle 420 v's six speed it's the fastest most rowdiest second gen on the planet from now until june 20th we'll be giving it away all you gotta do is click the link above or in the description today to get entered super simple and then hopefully on june 20th i'll be calling your name telling you come pick up your new truck we'll drive around gap a few people go out to dinner then they'll send you on your jolly way back to wherever you came from. Good luck and enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> Here's my new car. <laughs> so basically, in high school, as I said before, I I had two dream cars. Actually, I had a C6 Corvette, and I always wanted a Camaro ZL1. Specifically, like the 2018 years. Those are like my favorite. My best friend from high school. I hit him up, and I was asking him how he was doing. And I was like, Hey, you still got that car? He was like, Yeah. And I was like, Sick. I want it. Uh, one thing led to another, and. Now I, now I have it, so. It was kind of an impulse decision, but kind of not, because I've been around this car for, he's had it for two years, so I've known every single thing that has been done to it. He's not like me, he like, he keeps his cars in like the garage, he like cleans them, takes really good care of them. Not saying I don't take good care of my stuff, but like, he actually takes really, really good care of his stuff. So uh, when, he, when he said I could have it, I got really excited. And I was like, kid on Christmas. Every day is Christmas for me, but I'm Santa. I've, I've only had two cars, and I, I, I messed up. I started with an 800 horsepower C6 Corvette. So now everything's boring. Like this car's really fast, we'll get into it. But my Corvette's faster, so it's gonna have to change. Anyway, but we'll get to it. In the front, got a uh, Camaro Z01 front end. Freaking beautiful, it's got this ginormous splitter and these little thin things that probably do stuff and it's got a whole lot of a whole lot of air can go through this 
and air means horsepower. So that's good, I think. You know like when you buy a car, you, you go online and you look at every single picture on the internet of that car to, to figure out what you want it to look like? Uh, it needs a Z01 badge right here and a little chrome bow tie right there. They have like this red tow hook that comes out right there. Only I would notice that, but that that is that would need to happen. I'm thinking like we'll do like some some like demon eye headlights, kind of like murder ram, because I, I really like how those turn out. It, it makes a vehicle look really really neat when it has demon eyes. Why don't we just put demon eyes on everything? That's the move. Wrapped matte black hood. I dig it. It's pretty cool. I'm more of like a cow hood type of guy, so I'm probably gonna put like an obnoxious like eight inch cow hood so I can't freaking see where I'm going. They are MRR. These are like replica wheels. Not really a huge fan. They don't look terrible. They look better than stock wheels, so that's good. Needs welds, for sure. These Camaros are cool because you can run like a, a big tire in the back and a big tire in the front. Drag people do like slicks and skinnies, but I like, I'm, I'm used to trucks. I like 14 wides in the front and the back. I don't know what these are. They're probably like nine wides, but whatever. It is a one LE. So that means it has the same brakes, same suspension thing of a Z01. It's like the highest tier you can get. It's like the track pack. That's why it's got these huge freaking brakes. Like they're literally truck brakes on a Camaro. It 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 stops. Like you want it to stop, it, it, it stops before you even know you want to stop. Yeah, side skirt. Blacked out mirrors. Got this cool American flag thing. I'm, I'm probably gonna keep that. I like that. Uh, wide tires in the back. Got this really cool freaking spoiler. Now, I don't know if I want to change this yet. I can keep it like this. Cause I like, like, it's like really subtle. It looks clean. Or I could be obnoxious and buy a ZL1 freaking wing. I vote number two. Price. <laughs> <laughs> These cars come with a thing called active exhaust, so you can like change the modes and it goes from like really, really loud to really, really quiet, which is cool for like people that care about other people's opinions. Like if I, if I cared about what my neighbors thought about me, I would use it, but I don't. So 2018 Camaro, it is an SS with a Z01 front end, just so you know. I, it is a fake Z01, cry me a river. The same people that get butthurt about my fake dualies are probably gonna get butthurt about my fake ZL1. I'm gonna call it a ZL1 just to piss everybody off. But there's a reason that I'm okay with that. Because, I, I mean, I guess if I was to keep a stock motor in here, that would be kind of lame. You have, it'd be putting a ZL1, it'd be the same as putting a ZL1 front end on a V6. That'd be, that'd be pretty lame. This is not stock. The only thing that I hated about the Corvette is that like it was pretty much all the way done. I like this car because there's a lot that I could do to it. It's a good base, but there's still a lot that I can change and make it my own. Under the matte black hood of this beast, it's a freaking motor. No. <laughs> LT1, it's not an LS, it's an LT something. Good base, it makes like 650 horsepower or something like that, which is not bad for NA. Stage three cam, stage three heads, stage three everything. Uh, two inch long tube headers, which is why this thing sounds insane. Even my Corvette didn't have too much. I'm like, why does it look so puny? The exhaust is a long tubes to X pipe to stock mufflers, and it sounds better than most of the Camaros that I've ever heard. Every, I hate people that have like these fast ass cars, and they sound like Tesla. Like I don't know, I don't know why. Let the bald eagles scream. Let it let let your car breathe. That's like buying a diesel truck and taking off the turbo. Like what? Why? What? Why? Interior is amazing big step up from a uh, 2005 base corvette to a uh, 2018 fully loaded race car ricaro race seats has uh, a back seat it also has a back seat my corvette doesn't have a back seat obviously this does it is a uh, six speed manual carbon faber you might be confused it has a manual but it has paddle shifters these are rev match. The Actually, this is like the coolest part about this whole car. You press this little lever, you turn on rev match. It matches the RPMs to whatever gear you put it in, which is insane. I didn't know they did that. Literally being six, when I go to second, go wop, 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 and it will match the RPMs. It's baller. It's a 2018 Camaro. So I have everything like a 2018 Camaro should have. All the Cuban fiber. I didn't get the TV in there. Yeah. Does not have Starlight Headliner. 
didn't do that yet. Um, I don't know if I want to do stars or I want to do like dual sunroofs, like a like the like a 2017 like Illumina Duty. Have like a panel roof that goes all the way back. That'd be pretty sick. It's got three pedals and it, it, it goes wah 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 wah. Kind of basic. The basic is exciting because basic means that I can do a whole lot in the next couple months and make this thing insane. First on the list, we got to make it not NA anymore. So I'm thinking a, a root style supercharger, not a pro charger this time because I already had that. Or maybe some twin turbos. I know Kyle down in Florida would love to slap some turbo headlights on this thing. He put me on. <laughs> Anyway, there she is. Let me know what you guys think I should do to it. Maybe we'll wrap it. Uh, white's pretty cool, it matches the fifth gen, but Haley wants like army green. I was thinking like blue. Let me know what you guys think. Freaking sick. Love this thing, I've been driving around all day and I can't get enough of it. So this will be the new daily driver. Driving, a, driving monster trucks is fun, but like it gets kind of old driving across the country with a, a truck when I could just drive a car and save money on gas. Oh, it is on E85 as well. Forgot to say that. Flex fuel, corn, awesome. Good for the environment, good for your motors. Joe Biden. Price probably less because we're gonna go ride dirt bikes, so. Uh, see you, bye.
just like that, the fifth gen is gone. <laughs>